Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between Maven plugins and Maven dependencies? Let me answer. So coming to the Maven dependencies, we specify the dependency tags of third party libraries like Selenium, TestNG, JUnit, Extend Reports, Cucumber, etc. in the palm.xml file of this Maven project. Okay, I'll show you practically. Let's say this is a sample Maven project. And if you go to this uh, in the Maven project, by default, uh, palm.xml file will be there. In that, if you go to the dependencies section of this palm.xml file, you will find the uh, dependency tags. For example, here you have the dependency tags of the JUnit. You also have the dependency tags of Selenium Java. Okay, like that you can have the dependency tags of several third-party libraries that are there in the market, like TestNG, Extend Reports, Cucumber also, along with these things in the palm.xml file, okay? So what is the purpose of this, uh, or of adding these dependencies in the palm.xml file of this Maven project? It uh, simplifies the downloading, okay? It automates or simplifies the downloading of these third-party libraries and configures them automatically, okay? automatic downloading of these libraries and configurations. Without these dependencies in the palm.xml file, it will take a lot of time for you to manually download the jar files of this uh, JNIT for the libraries and uh, copy those jar files into these projects and configure that jar files in the project. That is a hectic process. But here, by simply adding the dependency tags of the JNIT, automatically the library of this uh, libraries of this JNIT will be downloaded and downloaded in this project under the Maven dependencies here and they will be configured automatically in the project. You don't have to do any manual steps to you know download or configure the third party libraries in your project because of this dependence. That's the main thing about Maven dependencies. And but coming to the plugins, but coming to the plugins, these are extensions to the core functionality of Maven. Okay, plugins means extensions. By default, if you create a Maven project, everything will not come by default in the Maven, okay? To get the uh, extra things, okay? That is extensions or extra additional stuff with the default Maven project in the palm.xml file. In the same palm.xml file, here under the build plugins management, you have to add the respective plugins. There are several plugins of Maven, like Maven clean plugin. If you have this plugin, it will clean the earlier generated reports and dot class files before running the uh, things again, okay? then Maven resources plugin, then uh, Maven compiler plugin to compile the source code of this, uh, okay, source code written in this project. Maven surefire, surefire plugin to run the uh, test with the help of Maven. Okay, if you want to run this uh, test created in this project, automation test or whatever the test created in this project with the help of Maven, then we have to use Maven surefire plugin. Then Maven jar plugin to create the jar files, okay, with the, with the whatever the files we have, okay, like that we have install plugin, to in, uh, install the artifacts uh, in the local Maven repository, deploy plugin to you know uh, to deploy the artifacts at the remote Maven repository, site plugin, Maven project info reports plugin, like that many other plugins also exist. Plugins are like extensions, okay? This is an example only. There are also dependencies are also in the same palm.xml file. Plugins are also mentioned in the palm.xml file and uh, <clears throat> And the purpose here of the plugins is different. It's not about third-party libraries. It is to enhance the, okay? Enhance or customize the build life cycle of your project, okay? So by enhancing the, uh, adding more extensions or additional functionalities to the Maven, we can enhance or customize this build life cycle of your project, okay? So main purpose of Maven projects is for a dependency management and build life cycle management, right? Plugins will come into the uh, build life cycle management, whereas dependencies will come into the dependency management, okay? So plugins are also specified in the palm.xml file. Uh, executed when specific build goals like Maven clean install tests are invoked, okay? So here, if you right click on this project and say run as, because of these plugins, you'll get these options like, you know, there are some options like coming, Maven build, Maven clean, Maven install, Maven test, okay? When you, uh, these are like Maven goals actually. When you select any of this goal, appropriate plugin will be invoked, okay? And based on, if that plugin is not available, you will get an error. Okay, let's say if you say right click and say run as and Maven, uh, if there is a something like Maven clean kind of thing, okay, if you select Maven clean, but if here Maven clean plugin is not there, then you are going to get an error because you don't have that functionality available in the default Maven. 
So you have to add this as an extension or plugin. You should mention this plugin in your plugin section of the bomb.xml file. Then that Maven clean will happen. Otherwise, that goal, Maven goal, like MVN clean or right click Maven clean will not be working. Instead, you will get some errors. So, hope guys, you got the difference, exact difference between the Maven plugins and dependencies and how they are different. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.